My name is Carl Schaefer. I work in the field of dance and choreography. I've worked for many years in collaboration with Eric Stern to develop um, a number of activities that connect dance and math. Traditionally, math has been taught in a way that disconnects it from the concrete or, say, from our bodies. And yet it is possible to, uh, and, and actually not that difficult, to embody the mathematics, um, to act out the mathematics. And this can be uh, a way for students whose learning styles, say, are not abstract or symbolic to um, hook into uh, this, this subject. It also can provide uh, an infusion of energy and excitement to, um, to the classroom. Eric and I um, find ways of uh, basing all of our work on one essential idea, which is that of pattern, which we find, uh, we feel uh, you find both in mathematics and in dance. And when we choreograph, we're identifying, creating, or changing patterns in time and space. And that always leads to uh, problem solving, not only in dance, but mathematical problem solving, all at the same time. One of the things we do when we work with students in the classroom is to take the, the pattern of vowels and consonants in their names and have them play them as a clapping rhythm. And this can lead in many directions. For example, it can lead to the concept of least common multiple, but it can also move uh, in the direction of, or lead in the direction of movement sequences, dance sequences. Another kind of activity that we do with students involves symmetry, not just mirror reflection, but rotation, rotational symmetry, uh, slide or translation symmetry. There's other, there are others called glide symmetry. We um, have students learn to distinguish different kinds of symmetries, uh, use them to create dance sequences, to explore, uh, to explore the ideas of symmetry creatively, both in the art form of dance, but also at the same time mathematically. Eric and I have been doing this work for um, over 20 years, and we, we feel that it reaches uh, students of all age ranges and of all so-called abilities. In other words, a student uh, who somehow doesn't seem to do well in math class, uh, or as well as other students, may really shine with this kind of embodied, um, uh, full-body math exploration.